main point is what to eat or not to eat. That is the question. My name is Martin Patella. I'm the founder of Life Enthusiast. I work there as a health coach. I'm also trained as a clinical hypnotherapist and my previous career included systems analyst and trainer lecturer. This is a picture that's fairly fresh. I'm in my 58th year and uh, yes, the ravages of time are seen even on me. The main reason the reason I got to be a health coach is because I had to dig through a lot of difficult health problems, mainly caused by mercury poisoning, but that's to be discussed some other time. Today I want to talk to you about digestion, and I want to talk to you about priorities. When you're in the left top corner, you're in crisis and your needs are urgent, you're in an emergency room, and you're not in any position to negotiate what people are going to do for you and how much they're going to charge for it. And that's the favorite place that the current medical system has you. Always urgent, always in crisis, never negotiating. What we propose and advocate is that you focus on prevention, on the non-urgent activities. And I want to explain to you where that is and how you can get there. So is your gut ready for this? This is the classic smorgasbord of of the gluttonous kind. But anyway, if this can be digested, what you need on board is minerals, enzymes, microbes, water, and of course to eliminate the wastes that it produces, you will also need to have fiber, there's not on that plate, microbes, they're not on the plate, and water, they're not on that plate, so let's make sure that you get those. Because if you don't, you're end up going to end up with the sterile gut syndrome. How do you how do you know that you've got that? The symptoms are clear: bloated, gas, belching, constipated, diarrhea, flatulence, and of course, the biggest sign of it all when you end up with food poisoning or the traveler's curse. But how do you get there? You have developed the sterile gut syndrome. It's so classic and it's so typical for the industrial society to, to develop tools and then use them. Well, we have used antibiotics. Why? Because we could defeat the bad bugs. We have chlorinated our drinking water. Why? Because we can defeat the bad bugs and so on. But you know what the result is? You have also defeated the good bugs. The industrial food production, it's a great idea. With the increasing scale, uh, you get faster processing and you get longer shelf life so you can have the food on the shelves of grocery stores. And with that, you get better prices. And I would say that today food is cheaper than it's ever been and you're getting exactly what you're paying for. Anyway, this industrial scale production is very vulnerable contamination. When you produce ground turkey or chicken, it's it's exposed to salmonella, which is in the uh, gut of the of the birds, or to listeria, which is usually in uh, pork products like sausages, hams, lasagna, bologna, who knows what else, or E. coli, which is in the digestive tract of cattle, and you get that in hamburger. So when you have large batches of contaminated food, they come up with huge recalls, like recently 60 million pounds of ground turkey. Pardon me, I misstated it. It's 36 million. Bad enough. But anyway, the industrial diet, what is it getting us? It's getting us a lot of food, a lot to drink, lots of calories. But the trouble with calories, you can either burn it or store it. If you're burning it, you're creating inflammation. If you're storing it, you're creating obesity. And with that, of course, this is creating digestive stress, emotional stress, physical stress. And that's what we're worried about. Your total stress load, which ends up creating the uh, overall problems in your body. If you're having these symptoms like bloating, constipation, diarrhea, yeast infection, 
like white coated tongue or the cankers there's a picture of an, of the canker on the on the screen or signs of immune distress such as flu or tonsillitis or chronic fatigue we can easily point at the fact that your colon or your small intestines are in trouble and when they're in trouble you'll end up with complex problems arthritis diabetes and so on and syndromes like fibromyalgia autism who knows what else those are associated with the following problems toxicity from the industrial age herbicides pesticides and the likes malnutrition which is caused both by depleted soils because you're uh, growing foods with fertilizers or by cooking canning and uh, so on which is diminishing the uh, uh, the uh, what should we say it's diminishing the nutrients in the food enzymes and the likes and then of course we have stagnation which is uh, lack of movement lack of exercise not enough water water that's not fit to drink from an energetic and vibrational perspective and finally disruption which is related to the modern life in cities with electromagnetic frequencies lack of grounding you're supposed to be touching your bare feet on the grass every day or in the lake and living in toxic relationships at work or at home and finally eating too much probably because uh, the food that you're eating is laced and loaded with msg and the likes which is cost causing you to want to eat more of it and finally getting to the crux of the matter having the biological individuality not attended to that is really important if you are the type that should be eating more of the top picture which is the vegetarian buffet but instead you're eating on the meat side you're not doing yourself any favors so just remember you're one or the other or a mixture of both but you need to understand what that is because if you're not eating right you'll end up with your pH balance disrupted and that leads to all kinds of illnesses cancer and such included or your glycation is disrupted which leads to problems that relate to diabetes heart disease and the likes or methylation which messes around with your brain your ability to think and so on and overall inflammation well aches pains galore and accelerated aging which is related to the oxidative stress and the hormonal hormonal decline who likes to be left feeling like an old man or an old woman before the time so what does this do all food has to be either burnt or stored and we need to decide what we're going to do with it it's important that you understand the four things find your metabolic type we're not discussing it in this presentation but I highly encourage you to visit the life enthusiast and ask about that identify your toxic load and detoxify yourself identify your deficiencies and get the right supplements and exercise but what I'm talking about today is that you need to uh, deal with fixing the one thing that's the easiest to fix create your healthy digestive system both in the small intestine where you deal with the villi or the colon where you deal with the elimination improving the absorption of nutrients uh, regulate vitamin metabolism facilitate cellular repair meaning that you fix the stuff that's already damaged restore homeostasis and quench free radicals can you believe that you can do all of this with one thing yes one thing SBOs soil based organisms they will stimulate the alpha interferon production which means that it's upregulating your immune system and that's important that's preventing or re reversing terrible illnesses with names that you don't ever want to hear associated with your name and the important thing these soy based organisms can produce unprogrammed unprogrammed antibodies that means that these antibodies are ready for whatever you throw at it and when you free, free up your mucosal villi that means that your brush border barrier 
the interface between the dirty side in your gut and the clean side in your blood is working correctly. And stimulating production of the lactoferrin, that means that you're improving your hemoglobin, the, the iron levels in your body. There it is. When you have restored the proper terrain in your intestinal system using soil-based organisms, you will have increased nutrient absorption, you have improved waste elimination, and you have strengthened your immunity. How fantastic is that? Three things, all at once. So here's what you need to do now. Focus on getting the right probiotics. It's not good enough to just go and get some yogurt with two strains probiotics that make your belly dance. That's such a lie promoted on television. They even had to pay a billion dollar fine to the FDA for having overstated their case. But they are on the right track. When you get the right probiotics, you are going to end up with something that's proven, has been tested for 30 or more years, and it comes to you as a team, not just a couple of guys. If I were to give you a metaphor, let's think about a football game. Would you like to play with just one quarterback and one receiver, or would you like to have the whole team? And that's what's coming in Body Biotics. It's available both in capsules and in the chewable version. And the chewable is important because when you use it, you can actually improve the breath, improve the uh, um, infestation that you might have in your upper digestive tract. But here's what we're offering you. Uh, when you go to the website that's linked down below this presentation, which is the Life Enthusiast Go Up website, you will be accessing a special deal. We are offering you either get one and free shipping or get free and the fifth bottle is free also with free shipping and uh, write this down SBOBB -B, Soil Based Organisms Body Biotics you will redeem this voucher at the uh, checkout side of the website and it will give you the free shipping if this confuses you in any way, give us a call at 1-866-543-3388. If you're not ready for the purchase yet, please fill in your email address and your name, and we will send you a report that was published in the Townsend Letter, a respected medical uh, publication that explains the uh, science and the technology of these soil-based organisms. They're really important and they are unlike anything else.